Hey, today um, we're going to have a look at how we can repair a hole in a sail. Um, I stuck a hole in the sail, dragged it over some rocks just recently and stuck a couple of big gashes in the hole. So uh, let's go get the sail and get it out of the car and we'll uh, get it started. There's the sail, that's uh, the problem. Let's pull him out of the car, Let's get my little toy shop. Let's uh, get this thing started, here we go. So this is the sort of hole that can be created when you um, drop your sail over some rocks. This happened in Harrington a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, first of all, we've got to get rid of this thread because that's going to interfere with the patches. And we stick a um, some sort of cutting board underneath just to protect it. We're going to use Stormshore Self Adhesive Waterproof Patches, as you can see. Um, the hole is a lot larger than one patch, so we have to use multiple patches. You see here, first of all, just make sure you know how many patches you've got to use, and then you've got to clean the area with some sort of uh, an alcohol wipe just to make sure that there's no you know, hand goo or whatever on there. So here we are cleaning it just to make sure no residual gunk is left over. Then we peel off the top bit of the Stormshore patch and make sure that everything is nice and neat and straight and whatever and then you just put down the first edge position it and burnish it down and then turn the label over and then peel it across the stretched fabric so that it goes on evenly you don't want any bubbles in this at all otherwise it will lose its strength then you get a second white patch in this case just make sure that bit's pushed down properly and what we'll do is we'll get the second patch, we'll peel off the, the um, little top bit first and then we lay it over the top just to make sure we just sort of eyeball it first to get it nice and uh, we'll get the coverage that we want. Burnish it down again just to make sure it stays in place and then again a nice even peel so that it goes on evenly as possible. We're not going to get all of the little wrinkle bits out because of the, the gash in the sail in this case. Then we get the third one, again peel off the, um, the top bit first, get the location just right, so we make sure we get the, the coverage, peel it over or turn it over and then just slide it up as neatly and as evenly as you can. Then of course go to it and burnish everything down to make sure that it's stuck perfectly. You don't want to have any of this peeling off at any stage. As you can see it's pretty thin, it's extremely flexible, extremely strong. The price of these patches are about five dollars a piece, no three dollars a piece. So you want to make sure that you can uh, make good use of them. So then you flip the sail over, again just put your backing board down, do your alcohol wipes as well, peel off the top bit, now see if you can locate this directly over the top of the one that's underneath on the other side so that they're uh, matching each other obviously that's a little bit for a bit of beauty of the sail, you know you Tears and sails are never good looking, but if you can make them fairly neat and tidy, the better. Keeps the value of your sail, also makes it a stronger seal. So we're putting the second one down here, again burnishing first, peeling it out so that it's as neat as possible. And then we put the third one down as well. locating it as closely as possible to the one that's on the other side. And then off we go burnishing it. And burnish that as hard as you can because now we've got both sides. Do it with the, the heel of your hand which will obviously burnish it better than just a couple of fingers. Just make sure there's no air bubbles caught, there's no cracks, there's no gashes. And there you have it. Now I'm going to fix the, the other little hole, it's a bit of a tear this one, or just the whole other one's more a tear. And again you've got to use your alcohol wipe just to make sure it's nice and clean. 
this one probably only needs one patch so we'll just peel off the little end find roughly the center of the patch the little hole and put the patch over the middle and then wipe it on as easily as you can just like that there we go burnish it down flip the sail over we got to obviously clean the other side as well make sure that it's done just remember to uh, allow a bit of time between the clean and the applying the patch just to you know, give the alcohol wipe a little bit of a chance to dry out it only takes a few seconds put the patch on directly over the other on the top of the other one on the other side and there you have it burnish it down beautifully and we now have for about 15 20 dollars we've fixed this up voila